Hi YouTube. I am back with a short little video. I said I was going to make more videos and then as, as revelations come to me and I'm not going to say it's from God, but it's from within the the comforter, that's what I'll call it, the voice. Uh, what was this? Day before yesterday. I was just, you know, thinking about the people I know that are dead and my son and how they come back in my dreams. And it seemed like messages. I don't know. But I don't know what the dead are doing. So I was thinking about the dream that my son came to me and that time he tickled me in my dream. And he said, oh, mama, I can't wait to see you. And I didn't hear him. I didn't realize I was dreaming until I stood up and I felt him tickle me and I laughed. And when I laughed, I realized that, oh, he's dead. And why, is, why did I laugh? And he tickled me. Then he came back to visit me in some bubbles. And it's, it's a long story with that. But I was thinking about that the day before yesterday. And I was saying, oh, it, it, it feels good to have him to come visit me in my dreams and my mother and everybody I noticed did. Now there are some people that come visit me. I say, don't bother me. But I I was just sitting there and then the spirit, the voice says to me, I am your comforter. And I said, Yeah, the Holy Spirit, I guess I guess that's what he was talking about. She or whoever. And so I said, Ooh, tell me more, explain it. So it went on to say, and it wasn't in words, but it was more of a thought. It's like I could understand what it meant without even hearing the voice. So it was like when I'm grieving, the comforter that's within knows what it's going to take for me to get through that. Just like I said the other day, when I'm weak, then I'm strong, the strength of God. So the comforter comes and makes my mind have these dreams and visit with the people that I miss so much while I'm grieving. Cause I, and it was explaining it to me, not in words. But then I said, well, if they, I said, yeah, he's dead. So why would he come in my dreams? And he, I said, the dead don't know nothing. They probably don't even know they dead. But the living, we have a comforter. And, you know, even scriptures talking about the comforter will come and blah, blah, blah. But to me, I mean, help me out. It's just a thought I had, but it's kind of like a fail safe that is built within our mechanism body is complicated and the spirit mind is more complicated but wouldn't it be something if that spirit making our brain uh pull up these dreams and bring these people to us and give us comfort but i wonder who's this i don't know because if that wasn't my son or my daddy or whoever i dream about how do i why they voice I guess it's my mind because your mind is a computer and it stores stuff. So my mind has stored all of these emblem, em, uh, I can't even say it, <laughs> these uh, people in my head. And then when I'm grieving, uh, just they just they come to visit me, but that's that mechanism, the comforter. And I sat there and I said, okay, I'm kind of getting it. But I tell I told my daughter about it, my daughter-in-law, she's still my daughter. I told her about it. She said, huh? She said, Mom, I never thought about it like that. And I was telling my friend Harold about it. And he said, oh. And I said, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I am subject to forget. That's, that's, that's what hinders me. I forget. Because... I don't, I don't know, any given day, any given moment, I might go into this uh, depression and, and think about things. And, and then I need that strength. That's the word. I need that strength. So I have to relax and let the strength come and take over. 
But I, this this may not make any sense to any of y'all, cause I can I I understand it, but it's not ooh, coming out of my mouth like I wanted to. But that was uh, that really kind of made me feel better, cause I think about times when I didn't know things, didn't know I was about to be robbed and burglarized and this same voice whispered in my ear and told me in plain day that what these people were going to do. And I said, what? And it says, yes, they are going to try to steal from you. And I just said, oh, four o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting on the toilet, got this message. Do you know I forgot about it? The man that was the, the voice told me that was going to steal from me, 10 o'clock in the morning, he comes strumming through the shop, yelling at me from the dock. He said, Mary, Mary, did I set the alarm? Because I was here last night. Was the alarm set when you came in? I said, yeah, yeah, Jeff, it was set. Come up here and talk to me. No, no, I was just worried, so worried last night. I'm glad the alarm was set. I got to go. He runs his little butt off. I'm still saying, a zoo, zoo, so on. I had to hurry up and get some cushions ready. This voice actually kicked me. It felt like a kick. Didn't I tell you that Jeff was going to try to steal from you? I say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I say, explain it. I turned the sewing machine off so I could hear. And the voice says to me, can you leave this shop without setting the alarm? I said, I don't know. Let me get up and see. I go to the front door, open it. The alarm just beep, 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 beep. And it beeps until you close that door or set the alarm. There's no way you're going to get out of there without setting the alarm. I said, oh, God, what's going on? What's going on? And... I was able to do some things to avoid that situation. But that was a fail-safe, a comforter that was there so this terrible thing wouldn't happen. And then when terrible things do happen, I'm wondering if dreams and dreams and thoughts or whatever, they come to comfort us, kind of like comfort food. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I mean, it was eight minutes. I had to get that off my mind because when I get to thinking, man, I don't know how to stop thinking. But I have to put it out there because I'll forget it. But think about that. Is it, Because of dead people, they don't have anything to... I mean... Because, you know, think about this. Some people, uh, have you ever had somebody tell you, ooh, girl, I dreamed about you last night, and you did so-and-so and so-and-so. I say, shh, you just dreamed about me because you were thinking about me, but I, I, I wasn't there, so I don't know why you dreamed about me. So if you have no control of somebody else dreaming about you, then dead people don't have no control about our dreams either, so... It's something uh, within my mind or something, something that I need, some kind of solution. And my, the soul, mind, soul, and body is a, oh, it's a special thing. I got some books. I'm going to pull them up. I got so many books. It's, and I keep them all out because I thumbed through this one and then I said, oh, let me go back and see what that said. But I'm going to look to my, my, uh, my book about, uh, meditation and um, intuition i have a big notebook about that but i thought it's nine minutes but anyway let me know what y'all think about dreaming about dead people okay uh bye